Are you ready for the Winter Mountain Castle finale? Then get yourself a coffee, sit back and enjoy watching me suffering from a painful slow computer, talking a little bit about composition and chicken! Even three of them. The whole composition process will now come to an end and though you might not have noticed, this video was consisting of the most video footage that I shortened to an enjoyable length for you. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel and if you like, check out the Artprint store. And now, let's dive into it! I made two major mistakes. These mistakes have something to do with my layer organization. I had decided to put the whole ground over the buildings. And now whenever I want to add an object into to the building, for example, I have actually, I would have to mask it out or I would have to put this object far beyond the ground layer, which makes it very tedious to work with these layers. The thing is, to reorganize it when I made it this far would be a pain in the ass, so I will not do it. So in general, it would be far better to place the ground layer very low at the bottom and over there the buildings, over there the mid-ground, over there the foreground. That has been very stupid. I got to handle it. This 32 core machine with 96 gigs of RAM is getting very slow right now. This is one thing I hate about Photoshop and doing composition work. It's, it's killing me. big thing up there. It looks cool. So far. Should I place it up there? <laughs> graffiti. It's a medieval graffiti. Yeah. That'll do it. Whoa man, I spent a lot of hours on this one. <laughs> and I, there's no end in sight yet. Woohoo! But it's still fun when it starts to get a little bit like long lasting. 
that's a good thing, right? If something is long lasting. Computers getting slow, computers getting slow. Why do they get slow all the time? Ah, I could use 32 cores more. But you know what the actual problem is? As far as I know, Photoshop does not really support multiple cores. There was a time when Photoshop only was driven by one core, by single core power. And I hope that they have fixed it. I mean, it might be the problem why this is so laggy right now. This, I mean, this machine is like a beast, but still get some performance issues with this. little bird. new day and I think it will be the last day that I work on this artwork because I want to finish. Um, it's been about 12 to 13 hours that I'm working right now on this particular piece of art. There is still a little bit to do um, in terms of lighting for example. I will take these two guys over to here so you have this mm, like there's a line of warmth into this direction towards the castle. I will take this guy over, I think. I think I should do a little flag over there. I also will refine the whole castle a little bit more. Maybe I think about like putting some rocks in front of it, maybe even some trees. This is what I'm doing today and then I will finish because I'm quite satisfied, I like it. And I will now do the final strokes on this artwork. Also another thing that I think about is I would like to give this guy a, a spear, like a weapon that is like here um, in this position. Mm, I have to do some photo research on that to see if I can find something that is fitting. So giving a spare into the hands of this guard is not too easy. Finding a hand holding a spare was almost impossible. Finding a hand holding anything or nothing or just being in the right perspective was kind of okay. I mean, I, I ended up using this one, but still the perspective is actually not right. It should be like from, from this point but it is more like from here, so it looks like the guard is standing like this. And now I just try to give the illusion to this um, arm that it is more from, you know, the angle is more from, from the back of this guy. So 
much fun. It's like magic. You know, I had once I had a client and we were creating product photos for their bags or something. They were very sweet and they were very excited about everything that was going to happen. Like the photographer was taking the photos and I was there with my iMac and was retouching directly on the set. And as I was retouching, I just cut out one thing, created a selection and then I put it to another place. And they were sitting behind me watching what was going to happen. And then I was just cutting out a thing and pulling it aside. And they were just like, whoa, what was going on? <laughs> they were so excited. And it was amazing. I loved that. And it was so cute because I think they've never seen before anyone working with Photoshop. And so they were so like freaking out and what is happening? Oh, you can you can't just put away something out of an image. Yeah, like, like that was very cute and they I think they said something like whoa this is like magic this is like magic. <laughs>so ah it's getting better and better i love this this is really a masterpiece man ah, it's amazing to make something fit into a scene you only need three layers you need one hue saturation just desaturate it a little bit then you need a curve and the last thing you need is a color balance and with the color balance, you try to get the colors right so it's fitting the context per perfectly. Actually, in most cases, it's enough. Sometimes you have some irregularities in the light of an object that you want to place into a new scene. Then you have to do some more, maybe some retouching here and there. But in general, three layers are completely enough to have something that is really compelling. I like those ropes. They help to frame, to give, a, to create a frame around the scene. Like it is framed by this building. There are tricks in the foreground. There's the sky that is looking into the scene towards the focus object. All these elements help to frame the image. Also the spare is pointing upwards. Then you have this thing, and and then over there there is this rope. This is helping to get back into the, you know, into the circle. Trying to keep the eye inside of this scene, inside this canvas. Like having restraining elements um, towards the edges so the eye is, you know, like um, shifting through this image but not leaving it. It is kind of the idea. I don't know if it's exactly working like this in this case, but I try to achieve this effect. So I have a nice frame, I have something to look through, look into, look towards to, and this is my, my goal in here with these ropes.
if you do these arts, in the end, you just think, hey, let's finish it. Let's create the final strokes of this artwork. And then you're sitting there for five hours like I did. In fact, these last 15 minutes that you've just watched were originally five hours of footage, but it was totally worth it. And I'm very proud of this piece of art and I like it and I hope you do too. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and stay up to date for the next videos that might come because I think I will do more of these arts, but also 3D art, product rendering and lighting. And if you are interested, please follow my channel. I would be so pleased and I wish you all the best. See you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.